Uh, let me just quickly get this rib knitting on here. I'm a little behind the eight ball today and we'll, we'll get into it. I made this bomber jacket a few projects ago. So I learned my lessons from it, made a new one and this outside fabric is from this padded fabric that my sister got off of an old couch or something along those lines. And the reason I'm making another one is there's no sort of lining and so you see all those kinds of guts. So today I want to learn how to make a lining. Starting off by cutting out the exact same pattern as the jacket and I have to remember to add in my quarter inch all the way around. And I got this really nice silky fabric at the thrift store, which works out perfect for the lining. Repeat this operation with the front panel. Fold this in half. On the inside along the front here though, I do want a little bit of the outside fabric on the inside before it connects to the lining. So, I folded it in half here, doubled my fabric. I'm gonna trace that out. And I'm gonna make that, oh, say four inches. I want to remove the equivalent from the front panels, plus a bit of seam allowance, of course. Snacking on the job so I can keep up with uh, what I got to get done today. And then finally, my sleeves. And now it's time to put it all together. But this is where things get a little tricky because everything is the other way around because of the inside, which means if this is the side that faces my body, then this piece has to connect this way. So that way the, okay, yeah. And so from here, I now just sew all the bits together for the lining. So putting the back on the front. But don't think I'm some sort of genius who just figured out how to do the lining. No, I have been following a YouTube tutorial by Cute Fashion Cut, Q-U-T Fashion Studio. Cut Fashion, Cute Fashion, Cut Fashion. Doesn't matter. Moral of the story, good tutorial. Jam. Yeah, jam, jam time. Well, that's my lining done. And I did leave a gap here on the right side. Apparently this is important for a coming stage. I'm getting hungry though. I gotta have real lunch. So Mennonite Cornelius, I think you wanted to say a few words. I'm going to bless for me to plant here in. Did he hang vast or no booze? And the lads are not so strong, but don't make half my scene in the blade. But I'm going to make one end up with the other one. This is here. Oh, that was the mess so booze. It was crude. Has the key of God's ever seen you hung? Was the water trainer hack? 
Aber vielleicht vor wenn ihr irgendwie eine Blätter lasst man dann schmacken. Ja, noch kein Sperr, dann fällt mal ein bisschen zu Wasser drin. Diese Band hier, das sind nie. Die warst du nicht genau fan und diese Blätter mit alle Klären und lasst man schmacken. Und dann diese hier, oh, diese, das haft. Dort wirst du auch bloß geschäten. Aber auch hier nicht, dass wir ein Rüt nehmen, plant dort frisch hier ein kleines Ding. Und dann in den Monatstiet, glaube ich, wird nach ein kleines Bastion reins plotten hier haben sollen. Eine macht hier dann noch ein kleines Bastion down, wird einer Korn. Looking good. Alright, time to connect one into the other. So, cut fashion. What do I do? All right. Got it. So going along the neck first, just lining everything up right along that line where I sewed the first time. And so then from here, apparently, I just go down along the zipper. Before I sew up the other zipper, though, I have this mud flap again. Stick that in there. Line it up. I want to follow my line. Okay, so I got to do it upside down. Okay. It's all getting rather thick here. Come on. I'm lost again. I need more guidance. And that means that these seams can go hop one pin in here. Okay, so got it. Back to it. Uh, I may have spoken a little too quickly. Let me just follow along here. The front, front facing, front yeah, lining, outside. sleeve lining, which yeah. comes around. And then like yeah, so something the, like that. All these seams and yeah, this is sleeve. I'm okay. Pin in the now, stitch this down. Follow my old seam there. So now the voodoo happens where apparently, because I've got my sleeves here kind of dangling like this, flip this around like that. So that's the right way. See that, my sleeve, I reach in to my sleeve here apparently and hold on and pull it through. Well, seems to have come through this way. Let's see. If I put my arm in there. Ha, ha, ha! Look at that! It worked! It worked! I didn't call him Jim. Jim! What's next? Little tad okay. Bit. We need that. All right. And so now the final seam along the bottom waist to connect the lining to the shell. Now apparently the trick here is that I only go about halfway to the center of the back. And so I leave a gap open here, allegedly. Hold on, what have I done? I think I have to pull it through this gap here that I left. Oh, there's a sleeve coming out there. Oh, okay. All right. Nope, that's fine. So I'm supposed to turn this inside out now. Hands go in the gap. 
bloop, 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 bloop. Take this and pull it through. Back in you go. Close up this hole. Look at this lining. I am really happy with how this turned out. All the edges, like around the neck here, down through the front, and even along the bottom with the elastic, turned out really nice and clean. Super chuffed about that. Even the arms themselves looks nice around the bottom here. The shoulders, plenty of room, but not too loose, fits really nicely. And just in general, adding a lining to this jacket has just cleaned it up and made it look that much nicer. There's no raw edges or anything like that showing. Boom, bomber jacket. It's a jacket, you know, it's a jacket. A lot of the little details on the outside, I think I did a pretty good job as well. The weld pockets on the sides, the edges, they've turned out quite nicely. Up along the top here, through the collar. I actually got pretty clean as well. I'm pretty chuffed with how that has turned out. You know, maybe I'm gonna be so bold as to give myself an A on this project. <gasps> as for wearing it, you know, I can go the basic jeans, white t-shirt, throw the bomber on top. Alternatively, Put a button up with a tie underneath. Makes it young and hip and professional without being too stodgy. Cause after all, I do have a startup and well, we're gonna change the world. I've, I've got my necessary leather laptop bag here. I'm off to a meeting, which isn't actually a meeting. It's a lunch cause <laughs> you know, we're cool like that. Yeah, I'm quite sorry. Nihas niemals haben Form geschafft. 